Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. I'm going to start off this episode with a little bit of a montage of uh, us finishing off the harvest for this uh, for this harvest season. We had uh, three big fields and a smaller field to uh, to bring in, so we had a a big field of wheat to bring in, two medium-sized fields of uh, canola to bring in, and um, this is one of them. We're just going to offload this and uh, get that delivered up to the silos. So they took well, the whole job took oh a fair amount of time. So I'm just doing a quick montage of uh, just to show you that we have done it <laughs> we haven't cheated or anything like that so yeah I think we've got just over 200,000 litres of of wheat in the fields at least in the in the silos we also just sprayed off the field of sugar beet that we planted and the other job that I did was to sort out the apple orchard we popped down down there collected some of the apples that were ready to go into the production unit because a lot of the trees I've just got set to uh, delivering directly to the to the processing plant we got all those in. Keep that going. That is still going. It's still got plenty of honey in there. So now we'll go and collect the produce. And luckily, we just sell this all directly through to our um, farm shop, which is about 200, 200 feet away. <laughs> if that so that's that all delivered get a bit of money for that and then lastly we'll just nip around and go and pick up the the honey and we, I think we'll just sell this honey directly into the farm shop and the next batch we'll put back into the into the production unit so that we can make the apple honey juice or whatever it's called <laughs> fantastic yeah so that's working quite well very happy with that I like the way it looks in fact I like the way the, the whole farm looks there we go it's just very slow loading from that need to look for one of those uh, mods where you can store more at a time. Well, that brought in a reasonable amount of money just for the honey. And then we delivered all the canola through to the oil production unit. It was two full tankers of just 52,000 litres. So 104,000 litres into the oil producing unit because that oil is um, shipped directly across to the mayonnaise factory and we make a huge amount from the mayonnaise of course. Now to the main crux of this episode. So we've got a lot of young male calves and bullocks so we need to separate them out because they are now eating all the high energy food that we're putting in of course and they don't really need it because we're going to raise them to a reasonable age it's probably around about uh, 24 months and then we're going to sell them on so I want to separate the the bulls and the, and the male calves out 
from the um, from the dairy herd. So as you just as soon as you just drive drove past there, I've bought a stock trailer, and I'm going to go and build a um, a free range area for the male calves to to enjoy. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to use this small piece of land that we've got here just across the little creek. I'm going to um, landscape it out and then uh, we're going to build a, a area for the for the male for the male calves and to grow up in a nice relaxed environment because it's on a hill we're going to have to just do a bit of carving out it's going to be quite expensive but yeah I like to give the male calves a, a decent life I mean some people just destroy destroy them some farmers but we will uh, raise them up until they can be sold of course they'll go into meat production but they'll have a good couple of years uh, spent on this what I think is going to be a lovely little area for them and I'm quite happy to spend the money on that Right, so there we've hollowed out an area, flattened out an area for them so that they don't have to camber through the mountains, etc. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'll just do the open field husbandry mod and uh, we'll put up a couple of pens or a couple of feeding areas. What I do, what I'm doing here is I'm overlapping it slightly, or by, I suppose about a third, just about. And what I'm hoping that will do is that it'll create a situation where it looks like the the younger calves are mixing with the older one-year-old stock. So it looks more or less like one pen. I think each of these pins will hold 150, so we should be okay there. Right, so now we need to kind of just disguise how the how we've dug out the area. Just enlarge it a little bit and we'll, we'll add in a couple of little things so that it doesn't look that harsh, that particularly that bank at the back in some roads and things like that just some tracks so that we can feed them and what's quite nice here is that this leads to this track up here so we can have a pretty much a one-way system going here coming from the top there coming from here and go out the other side nice I'm not sure. No, I don't. We don't need to really travel behind you. I think I'm going to make that look like it's part of the field. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's what I'm going to do. So um, let's put some grass down first. Where is it now? So I have uh, sped this up by 400%. So it took quite a while to get all this worked out, and I, I have sped it up quite a bit just to uh, just so that you're not sitting here hours watching it because you can get a, a really good gist of what's happening right so let's just get this all crossed over and then we will do some creative hiding as I like to call it <laughs> you'll see what I mean in a couple of minutes uh, there we go this rid of the old field that was there why did I leave that little bit of dirt there not too much of a problem right so I'm going to just put meadow all over the all over this area
and I think I'll put meadow into the area of the, um, the free range area so it looks like they are feeding in the meadows there's a couple of spots I've missed I have to go back and fill those in there we go yeah I think that's pretty much it yeah so it looks like it's in the meadows right now um, it's it's still not looking exactly the way I like it I think um, the bank still looks a little bit harsh up there um, let's just finish off the meadows quickly my eye keeps get drawn to the, drawn to the bank at the top there so I'm going to have to do something about that I'll just disguise this little ridge down here with some bushes put them on there as well we want to make it look a little bit haphazard so that's not doesn't look like it's been specifically there to hide some things um, yeah we can still see that need a bit more hiding so we'll just put some trees up in front of them there we go so now we're starting to look like it's kind of blending in put a couple halfway up and a couple at the top There we go. Let's add some in there. That's looking good. That's the way I want it to be. Yep, that's looking good. So you can't see the harshness now of the uh, of the bank. There's a bit of a bank there. I mean, you can't pretend there's not a bank there, but. Um, just doesn't look like it it's just not sticking out yeah it's looking good now I think we should still put up some um, I'm thinking about some kind of shelter I'm just gonna make the road look less 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 harsh let's put it that way so it looks more like a track Always finding these little spots where it needs to be filled in. Add a bit of colour in. Still thinking here about the about how I'm going to build something there that looks like there's a bit of shelter for the for the calves, etc. We'll get to that soon enough. Yeah, I'm liking that. Yeah. Bit of colour. Right, so we'll just put a couple of cheap sheds up at the back. It just looks like there's place for them to hang out is what I'm trying to think of. Put a bit of dry grass around there bit of animal mud in the front just it looks like they've been walking around the area yeah I'm liking that that looks good maybe a little bit on the side there I don't know looks a little bit empty inside but there's nothing I don't want to put stuff in there just for the sake of it just add a couple of little other features To make it look a bit more built in. Right, that's looking good. I like that. Right, it's probably time to go and fetch the animals now. Huh? We'll get our trailer hitched up. We'll go and fetch all the male calves and pretty much all the males except for the big daddy so any males that we have in here we'll take out and put into that paddock 
So I'm not going to... So we'll put them in there and I've created the meadow effect so that it looks like they're just grazing. So we won't put any food in for them. Of course their health will, in terms of their gain, will show as not growing, but um, they would have enough feed to keep them growing, to, to keep them aging, to keep them moving on in the age group as such. Um, we will need to give, give them water, etc. But they've got plenty of meadow to eat. And then once they get closer to um, to the time to sell, we will start feeding them uh, hay until their health gets to 100%. That would be an indication of pretty much fattening them up as such. And then they'll be in prime condition to sell. And we'll do that from about, oh, I suppose about 20 months old. We'll start putting in uh, in a bit of hay and they can eat the hay and get up to full saleable value. So this trailer is quite nifty, it takes eight at a time. Um, you wouldn't want to transport them too far because they get kind of packed in there. But we're only going, oh, a couple of hundred meters really. So these are the older ones that I'm putting on in on the, as we look at it here on the right hand side. Then I'm going to put the younger calves in on the left hand side. And then hopefully because we've got them slightly staggered, they will uh, mature at different times. And we can add the feed in just to the right hand side for now and then hopefully when those are ready to be sold we can put any more calves that are born into there to the right hand side the right hand feed area and um, leave the left hand for well uh, and then the the calves that we're putting in now in the left hand area will be of age to be fed to be sold this probably doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense but once uh, once it gets going hopefully it'll work out and it, it'll make sense so a couple of couple of epi episodes time <laughs> in any case i think this is probably the last lot yeah it's just another two left and then they're all done and we, we've got just females so we're keeping the females fed with a high energy um, silage or um, TMR so that they are producing uh, to their full capabilities. And these guys don't really need TMR. So we just f feed them, they just feed on the meadow until we want to feed them up. Right. All looking good. I want to put in some water taps so that we can do our normal filling of the water. We don't want to leave them too long without water out there. Yeah, personally, I think it's looking pretty good. As you can see, the with the overlap, there's a little overlap with the calves and the older um, bulls are kind of mixing together. That's the effect that I really wanted. I suppose I could have gone over a little bit more. But yeah, looks kind of spacious. Let's get this parked up. Go and get the water tank out. We'll head on back and uh, fill up water for the for the guys, it's probably going to have to do for uh, full their water troughs pretty much every day because there's quite a few of them in there now. Right, there we go. So it takes about six thousand liters. Yeah, it's probably going to be a 
a daily feed of water. But they've got plenty of grass to eat. And uh, that meadow effect just looks like they've got plenty of grass to eat. So I'm quite a happy with that situation. Let's get out and take a walk around. Yeah, there we go. So these are the young ones. Trotting around. Nice bit of freedom. Nice room to shake their heads. They're not in, in the shed all day. These are the older ones. Yeah, the whole thing is not without its problems. <laughs> So that's going to happen occasionally, um, but I'm not too worried about that. We'll just not show it that often. <laughs> there you go. And these, the young ones mixing in with the older ones. Fantastic. Even though I say so myself. Really happy with the way this has turned out. I've got water. As I said, as they get older and get closer to selling age, we will start feeding hay and that will fatten them, them, fatten them up nicely to be sold on. Great stuff. Because of course, I was going to say because of course they sold by weight. In reality they sold by weight, but in the game they're not be quite interesting, it would be quite nice to have a mod that allows male calves to be sold by weight and depending on how you feed them, weights could vary. I guess that will be a huge program to write. In any case, that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. do hope you've enjoyed the little recap of the harvest and in particular the building of the, of the male cow area. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Cheerio!